Hi folks, my name is Lawrence Mann and this is the Lenovo Yoga A940. An all-in-one made with creatives in mind. So let's take a look at this. It has a 25 degree hinge, meaning that I can move the keyboard and other peripherals away and bring it down to a drawing height like that. And then take the stylus, crack on and do some artwork. Let's take a look at what makes this such an absolutely wonderful device to work on. Okay, so why is this such an absolutely great device? I've been working on this for a week now, as you can see by my artwork here. And why have I enjoyed working on this device? Well, it's absolutely great. It's got some Wacom Pentec, which arts and creatives absolutely love. It's got a giant 27 4K screen here, which is 100% Adobe RGB, which is absolutely great. But one of the key features that I absolutely love is this, this dial here. Now we've seen dials before, but I think Lenovo have absolutely cracked it with their dial. This is the first dial I've seen that absolutely works. Now, as you can see, all other dials have to have their screens completely flat, but this one works when the screen's upright and at every angle. Why? Because it's plugged in via USB. I can take this out, I can show you it. It's plugged in for me because I'm left-handed, but you can also plug it in at the other side there. Perfect. Only takes a second to plug back in or unplug. Now, all my peripherals slot nicely underneath. Everything's great, but you've also got a couple other things like the fact that I can charge my phone via the wireless charger underneath there. So many little things have been thought of, like the Dolby speakers right here. There are also some built in underneath the screen. We also have this cool nifty LED light right here as well. How cool is that? There are loads of little features here. Now, things like the quality of the screen, which is a really high spec quality screen. And I've got a, kind of a few other screens here in the studio, so I know that I'm looking at a good one. The speaker setup here. If I'm doing video editing, if I'm doing visual work like this digital painting here, this is a machine that can handle it. And that's not it. You've got a great system in here for ice as well. You've got the latest set of processors. You've got great graphics card, up to 32 gigs of RAM. And on the side, you've got a lot of spare ports on the back as well. And that's one thing it definitely has over the Surface Studio. Now, one thing I did that Lenovo don't know about is I actually took the hood off this, mainly just to show you how easy it is, but also just to show you the arrangement inside. I didn't want to go digging around because this is one of only three in the country. Very interesting setup and we can see exactly how easy this is to upgrade if you want to. So who's going to buy this machine? Well, it's going to be other people like me, other digital painters, graphic designers, video editors, audio people. Yeah, all of those kind of people are going to be looking at a device like this. Basically, anybody who's thinking about a Surface Studio, anybody who's looking for an all-in-one, this device is actually very affordable as well. The great thing is, as well, obviously an all-in-one is great for saving room, but it's nice and compact, you can take it with you. I know a lot of studio photographers who like devices like this, because it also means that they can pack it up with them and just head out there if they need to go and shoot on location, things like that. Very, very handy. But a lot of graphic designers who are freelance like to take them around with them as well. So there's a wide audience. It's not just digital artists and painters like me. Also, there's the student market. No matter what you're doing, even if it's just a bit of Netflix and chill, something like this isn't a bad idea. Those speakers, that screen, let's face it. A good movie in high resolution, that's pretty awesome. So what really excites me? Well, it's got to be that dial again. I think that dial really kicked it out of the park, especially given the fact that I've seen so many different companies come up with dial concepts and even fail. It was Microsoft who first kind of gave us the dial, and their dial doesn't really even cut it. 
So the fact that other people have tried and failed still. This one I think is the first one I've seen that really, really does a good job. I would like one for the other side though, to be fair. <laughs> if you can buy these extra, I'd love to see that. This is the Lenovo Active Pen. Now this is actually Wacom technology. It's the new Wacom AES 2.0 digitizer pen. And that comes with over 4,000 levels of pressure, but most importantly, it comes with tilt. It's battery operated, those quadruple A batteries, which can be a little hard to find, but you can buy them easily online. It has two programmable buttons. It's a pretty straight up and down design. Here we do a quick parallax test. This may look kind of large, but we're doing an extreme close up here. So realistically, this is kind of under two millimeters, which I think is more, more than acceptable, especially when you consider how thick and toughened this glass is. So you're not gonna get that horrible flex that you kind of find on surface devices and thin laptop devices. This is a nice resistant kind of screen. And you do not notice, as you can see here, you, you don't notice that parallax much at all all and remember that i'm filming from the side here so when you're looking at the pen kind of top down you don't see that parallax at all so we're doing some line testing and you can see that freehand you get nice straight lines and with the ruler you get nice straight lines no jaggedy edges at all i'm using photoshop cc this is the latest version and i have line smoothing turned off i hate line smoothing it slows your lines down completely as you can see, I have no lag on these lines at all, which is absolutely great. My file size is nice and big, it always is. I'm using a giant brush here, just so you can see the lag on large brush sizes and kind of what you can expect from large brushes because the line quality is very different from small, thin brush strokes as well. We go into my quick scribble test something i pretty much do in all my pen tests so you can compare them to how it works on other devices that i've reviewed here just so you can see if the pen skips a beat and how it goes from thick to thin in the pressure tests this like i say has 4,000 levels of pressure obviously when you look on other wacom style devices you might expect 8,000 levels of pressure with those latest cintiq pro style devices or 2000 levels of pressure with other lesser quality devices but it keeps up really nicely onto the spiral test we can see the lag is looking pretty good and the tilt is showing its head there along with the pressure sensitivity of 4000 levels as well altogether working good the screen like i said is 4k and it is a 27 inch screen as well it's 100 percent Adobe RGB and yes that is absolutely beautiful getting close to this working on this and then having shifted that artwork around to different monitors I can safely say that the screen comes calibrated it was really really precise in its colors don't you think that looks like me there you go color calibration right there one thing I will say about this is that it's a gloss screen and a fingerprint magnet. I found myself wiping this down every two seconds. If there's one thing I could say to Lenovo is, it would be lovely to see a matte screen option of this. But I, I'd say that to every manufacturer and I do constantly in all my videos. <laughs> so let's jump in with the draw test. I discovered a few things while working with the Lenovo A940 over the course of the week. This was probably one of the illustrations that I did about halfway through the week getting comfortable. So it was kind of strange. I still like to use the keyboard while working with the dial system. Why? Because I still like to use those familiar keyboard shortcuts as well as that dial. The dial's great. It gives you a lot of functionality. I found it was great for using the brush sizes as well as the zooming in and out it's really functional for you know kind of uh, using familiar applications you can also program it for applications that it doesn't automatically recognize you know it knows the big applications like photoshop etc and they're going to program in a lot of new 
applications as well. I think they'll be very open to you know requests if you want to send those in via Twitter, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know that's why I hear from talking to Lenovo, but you'll be able to program them in as well. I think Lenovo uh, are going to do a lot with the DAR. I think they might also introduce it. Hopefully, they're going to sell it separately. It's USB, so I don't see why not. You'll be able to use it with your own device, even if you're not using a Lenovo computer. That would be awesome to see. Now, one thing I want to say is, yes, I use the keyboard, and as a combination, they're absolutely brilliant. As you can see here, it is pen and touch, so I used rotate with finger gestures. And this is a device here that is, you know, it's not fully spec'd out as it's going to be. This is an engineering sample that I have. So the specs of this device are not the full specs that are going to reach you if you buy this. They're slightly different, but I don't know exactly what's in this machine that is going to be different from the one that you may have if you're going to be buying this. Overall, though, the drawing experience that I had was absolutely wonderful. I'm going to hopefully get one of these in. Lenovo have said they will send one out once this reaches market. Now, I had the same thing with the Dell Canvas when I first got one and reviewed it. And when they sent out a, an actual version for me, I did some videos with that. And I couldn't tell the difference. And I'm sure that when Lenovo send out an actual A940, I'm sure that I won't tell the difference. Everything about this looks like an actual, you know, finished version. And it works really, really well. I drew about five finished illustrations with this. You've seen about three of them in this video review. And, you know, they are absolutely cracking. The, por the portrait of me obviously looks like me. And I was very, very impressed. So, even though this is a speeded up version, I will, if you request it, I'll put up the full length you know, um, proper 100% timed version of this video so you can see all of the brush strokes in real time. I just didn't want to make this review last, you know, a couple of hours. <laughs> Obviously, I know that um, a lot of you just want a quick overview rather than, you know, a two hour video. We've already done pen test and as you can see, I was thoroughly happy with that. The touch worked really, really well. The palm rejection was pretty excellent on this. Had a couple of times where palm rejection skips on me and a couple of times where rotate kind of, you know, didn't work 100% perfectly. But in other applications, it I didn't really have any problems. That may have just been Photoshop rather than the Lenovo A940. But again, this is an engineering sample and not a market ready version. I've seen other tablets that aren't exactly up to this level of standard, so perfectly happy. The illustrations that I've been doing are fully finished versions. In fact, the portrait of me was actually done for my speech at Vertex and that worked out really, really well. You'll notice a lot of the time I don't have to keep my hand on that dial. It's not something I have to kind of keep my hand permanently on, you know, resting on there. But sometimes I actually did on and off. I did wonder, actually, I came up with an idea after this video that you could, if you wanted to, actually use a USB extension cord. I only had this device for one week because it had to go off to um, to an actual event that was going on for kind of press and uh, for buyers as well, you know, for stockists, etc., etc. But if I get another one in for review, I might actually try using an, a USB extension cord so I could just hold it in my hand and see how that goes. I, I think that might actually be an interesting way of using it. That way it doesn't have to actually even be attached to the device. And I think all of the dials having to actually be on the screen this way you can actually keep the dial down by your side and still get the use out of it. It's totally different to other dials like the dial on the 
Surface Studio and the fact that this one comes included rather than being bought separately like the Surface Style, um, the Canvas Style, etc, etc. I think it's really, really good. Now one thing I want to mention is the fact that this dial actually has that one button on the end as well as two dials whereas the Surface Dial only had one dial and one clicky part, <laughs> one, one button part. The surf, uh, uh, the Dell Canvas dial had one dial and one click as well. The Dell Canvas actually, when I first reviewed it, when I when it was first announced, actually had two dials, which was interesting. I've got the second dial for the Canvas, but that was never officially released ever. Interesting, but. With this, if they release the dials separately, then technically you could get two dials. So you could have four dials and two buttons. Interesting, interesting. And you could use your keyboard as well on top of that for the shortcuts, making it even more productive for audio and video people as well as artists. I love the idea of that. Now going back to that stylus on top of that, if they bring out you know a stylus with 8,000 levels of pressure, I would so love that. But given the level of artwork I've been able to do on this, I am so impressed. This is it. Uh, sorry, 4,000 levels of pressure with tilt. I haven't seen too much difference between that and the 8,000 levels of pressure. You know, on my Wacom. 27 QHD, that's 4,000 levels of pressure. I've been absolutely fine with that for, for years. It depends what you really, really want out of life. If you are looking for an all-in-one, if you haven't got that much room on your desk, you know, I'm going to reiterate parts of this that I've already said in my review. You know, enjoy the draw test. I'm happy with that. You let me know in the comments below what you want. One thing I've got to say is that I didn't tilt the screen while I was drawing. I may have tilted it a little in between drawing, but not while I was drawing. This is the best all-in-one experience I've had for artists. If they send another one out, and don't mind me putting a matte screen protector on it, I'll be in love. Hopefully this has you as excited as I am about this product. I'm really enjoying the Yoga A940. I'm going to go away now and do some artwork. I'll see you guys later. Keep being creative. Have a great day.